let your mind just be empty. It doesn't matter if there's some shh going on. Just don't hold anything at all. And hold no shape at all for a moment. I know you can do this. Or rather let it listen to my words. Let them let them be the light in you for now. Don't hold on to any shape or any intention. This is a beautiful exercise. Whatever it is that's been knocking from the inside in your head, just don't pay any attention now. We've come to that stage right now for tonight. Just to say, cut that, unplug from that. I just want your presence. I just want to feel you and be with you in presence now. And I will tell you, it will be infinitely greater than any question that you have had and had the chance to ask. Just let everything go now. You don't need any special skill for this. Just the will, not the skill. You just you just let let everything go. Just be empty. And trust that the vibration of what you've been paying attention to is already resonating within your heart and being. So don't go to mind. And of course, this is one of the things that's been happening in satsang more and more. Whenever we call and we use the word satsang, people start to think questions. I'm going to give you a different thing now. Don't think questions. Don't think. Just to be in the being right now. Just being only, just being. Being is not a doing. It is an, an, allowing, an, an allowing of yourself to just let go of the mind traffic and the thing to do list. Let go of all of that, completely of that. Okay? No images are needed, no imagination is needed. And just be empty. The emptiness that I'm speaking about here is not something that you can create. It's what you are allowing yourself to be. It is there already. It's like if you've been watching TV for a few hours and you feel like keep watching, watching something, and then somehow an impulse just to switch it off. And there's just a silence. That silence is always here. Now, one more step. That in which the silence itself is perceived. The silence now is present. It's almost like a kind of physical silence almost, but it's more than that. But now the awareness of silence also. Use the word awareness, the awareness in which even the silence itself is perceived. Again, this is not the outcome of some doing. Just seeing recognizing but it's not a dual it's not a dualistic seeing we're in the space of only awareness now don't hold on to any shape nor be any shape for a moment you're not creating So you're just naturally aware. Whatever shows up in the space of your being, that is okay. That can just be there. But that's not something to interfere with right now. Nothing to pick up. There's nothing to use. There's nothing to become. There's nothing to change. And why is that? 
because you yourself are empty. I don't mean like you're empty, like there's a can that's been emptied and there's a can left. There's no can. And there's no container and no contained for a moment. This is not an hypnosis. This is just clear, clear emptying, not allowing your attention to caress or to cling to any idea, however subtle. And yet, there is no cynicism, there is no dismissing. And even if there is a self-image, like the body is appearing in your consciousness as a kind of a reminder of what you are, that is only an idea. So if you feel... I've come to a place of real silence. The silence itself is only the kind of perfume that comes from this, which is not an object. This I would call the very ground of being itself. You may use this term if you like it. But this ground is not, is not, is not a level. It's not earth. You are not drifting. If there is some feeling of driftingness, that's not you. You may be aware of driftingness. There is no shape or dimension to, to what you are. And again, I don't need to ask you, nor do you need to imagine anything at all. Because if something imagined is there, you will also perceive that as only another shape appearing in the vastness that you are as awareness, you see. You have not become anything at all. Now, if you feel some mind movements, some mind chattering and so on, um, that's only because the attention is still trying to catch you into a shape or a memory of yourself as a person. And remember, that is also a shape. Just remain shapeless. Now, it might feel that this is something you are doing, but I'm only asking you to be empty and to notice that emptiness is at the very root of all things. It is totally natural, not contrived, not imagined, just recognized somehow. If anything is pulled into the mind shape, it is only your ideas and habit and, uh, and, and the tendency to identify yourself into some shape called a person. Now this may take time, and you may have need to sit and do, sit with this as often as you can. That this is fine. But however long it takes you, when you discover it, it has always been here, as it is right now. But it hasn't arrived. What I'm speaking about, the very essence of yourself, has not come from anywhere, nor can it go. All that comes and goes are illusory and momentary. And just as I'm saying all these things, pointing from this empty, all what I'm saying is coming out of this emptiness. But the emptiness is not affected by it at all. Only from that emptiness there is a field of harmony, and out of this field of harmony these words come to, to guide you so that you keep out of that which brings disharmony and come to a clear recognition, a non-dual recognition, a non-phenomenal recognition, a non-object recognition that is yourself here and now. 
yourself will never become a construct that is created in the mind. All that that is created in the mind, none of it is stable. It comes and goes. What you are discovering is that alone which is stable. It is always here. That alone which can be called eternal or timeless. If you are to discover this in another lifetime, or ten lifetimes, or ten minutes, or ten hours from now, whenever you discover this, what I am speaking now, it will be just the same as it is right now. There is no object to find. There is no philosophy to fulfil. There is nothing to become. It is more a kind of unbecoming, may feel more real than becoming something. Because the self you cannot become, it is what you are. But find it difficult to recognize on account of the culture of personhood that is developed through the mind and being. And if you feel I'm not getting this, I'm, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. And through your satsang, you are learning more and more to discern the difference between your mind and yourself. Mind came from the self, dances in the self, and subsides in the self. The self has no movement to make. So at the end, as we are coming to the end of satsang now, for today, don't make any conclusions about anything at all. This is please listen to me. Don't make any conclusions like something. Oh, so your mind is making some kind of conclusions about what you have heard. There's nothing to do at all. The serum is already in. Don't give it to your mind. Trust this. Trust this. Now I felt that. I felt this and I felt this. As I said, trust this. Something in I don't know where exactly that's coming from now, and how many of you, something just let go of that of some shape. And you know. It is so discernible. You can just be comfortable. There is nothing to keep. There is nothing to know. Our sharing inside your being, the natural intelligence of your being, the natural grace of God in you, is already functioning. It does not need the extra help from your mind. It just interferes. Trust this. Okay? Yes. And so the time has come for me just to have a few moments to sit uh, with you to simply uh, rest and delight in your company a little bit. A few moments. And uh, thank you for uh, this coming together. Wonderful, wonderful um, opportunity to again only paying attention. That's all. We are not in the classroom. Only settling in yourself, watching the the illusory waves of the mind and so on. Don't get entangled in all of that. Don't worry. Mine is an easy way, and an ease on the way also. We make trouble for ourselves by too much holding on to the mind and thinking that somehow this is some sort of intellectual procedure. It is not. Just hold on to nothing at all. 
And I want to tell you that this is not just about tonight, or today, or this moment. Have this attitude. Don't worry. Remember these words. Don't take shape. And trust that, and you will see how, how freeing it is, and at the same time, how truly responsible it is. How efficient and uh, harmonious. Accept it, and let it uh, be released in you. Don't tighten yourself around anything at all. And remember, there is nothing to imagine. The self has nothing to do with imagination. Of course, it creates this this ability, uh, but as you are discovering, rediscovering the truth of yourself, you will not uh, be so inclined to make things up and to be um, pushing your head into different shapes. Everything is just fine like that. Uh, be easy in yourself. Of course, there will be times when uh, effort is required, and trust that if effort is truly required, it will also come naturally. Learn to trust life. It is not forceful. Of course, there is force and there is power, but when it is moving in the right timing, you will see it is all grace and appropriate. So, and that. Very good. Bless you. Shivu. Thank you.